a one, a two, a three, four, five. It is the Tom Retro Chronicle with your host called Tom Retro. Mm, looking good, baby. Tom Retro is also known as the Retro Guy and has a very interesting angle on things like sports, music, movies, books, and pretty much mostly life. Uh, he has a WordPress account, a very funny Twitter account, and overall a very interesting guy. Yeah, yeah. And also has very interesting interviews like me. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's head it to our very own special, very special host called Tom Retro. And hello there, my fellow, fellow, fellow podcast listeners. I'll decide to not do kind of a sort of um, song intro and outro um, for this episode, which is episode 30 of the Tom Retro Chronicle. If you were just uh, not sure of what you were exactly listening to, but yes, this is the Tom Retro Chronicle, episode 30. So, yeah, um, I'm taping this on a very cloudy, sort of Saturday evening. It's been pretty much raining all day. So, pretty much did almost, almost, really almost nothing today, other than watching college football, of course, but... Um, in terms of um, content for this episode, I'm just going to pretty much do um, my NFL Week 2 picks, um, which is pretty much, um, in case you aren't uh, following my WordPress account, I am currently 1-0, and o, um, currently right now, in this week's picks. I picked the Patriots to beat the Jets, and uh, somehow or another, the Patriots uh, scrape away with a win against the Jets. So, um, I think I should really mention, um, no, not really. Oh, in terms of, um, something productive, I've been watching, uh, Jackass, the first, uh, the first Jackass movie, and it was actually quite, quite humorous, I suppose, but, um, other than that, pretty much, let's, uh, get to, uh, week two picks. Alright, the first, uh, game that I want to talk about is, uh, the Rams going to Atlanta to take on the Falcons. And the Falcons, they lost to a pretty good team last week against, uh, the Saints, so I have... The Falcons beating the Rams. Um, I'm not selling too much on the Rams. Um, I think they're a rising team. Um, I just don't think they will match up well against the Falcons in this one. So the Falcons get a win. San Diego at Philadelphia. And I have the Eagles beating the Chargers. And pretty much my reason for that was um, I wasn't sure um, I wasn't sure how much, um, how good the Eagles were going to be against the Redskins on Monday night, so could be, could be interesting game from that one. Um, so I have the Eagles in that one. I'll stick by the Eagles. Uh, Dallas at Kansas City, and normally I don't pick this often, but... When I do, I pick the Cowboys somehow or another. They usually do pretty well against AFC AFC opponents. So I don't know, usually usually Cowboys figure out some way to win and then boom, they're pretty much uh, done. So, um yeah, I'll take the Cowboys unless unless Tony Romo does a Tony Romo, I think the Cowboys will get a win in this one. That's not really saying much, too, but that's just me. Uh, Miami at Indianapolis. And I have the Colts uh, winning this one. Um, Andrew, Luck, Andrew Luck has looked pretty good so far this season, so 
I think I'll stick with the the Andrew Luck bandwagon. And yeah, I think kind of the Colts will win that one. Uh, it's Tennessee at Houston. So um, I have Houston win this game. Um, in terms of in terms of a matchup between the Texans and Titans, you know, kind of it's it's kind of more of a toss up, I suppose. But I think the Hugh Texans will win this one because they usually do pretty well with the uh, their divisional and divisional games. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, now let's go to Washington at Green Bay. Definitely one of the better games to maybe take a look at on on the uh, early game slate. Um, here you have the Packers who lost to the 49ers by six points at their own home stadium, which is definitely something to take a look at and um, feel pretty pretty good about. But um, this is also the first meeting between the Packers against uh, RG3 and the Redskins. I mean, um, so it could be a very interesting game how our defense stacks up against the RG3. Could be, it could be either a really bad game for the defense or a really good game for our defense. So, uh, kind of depends on how we how we size up against RG three, which in most cases against the option option offense, usually we don't really do exactly all that good. So, I'll still I'll stick by the Packers on this one. So. Cleveland at Baltimore. I have the Ravens winning this one, and the Browns would be a very interesting pick in this one. It's it seems kind of interesting to think about the Browns, a little bit of a better Browns team against um, a Ravens team that you know won the Super Bowl and they lost so many of their weapons on offense and certainly mostly on defense, so I don't know, all stuck by the Ravens in this one. Um, Carolina at Buffalo. And my upset pick is the Bills. I don't know why, but it kind of seems to me that the Bills would be probably a very, very sexy pick in, in something like against the Panthers. I mean, I mean, why not? I mean, why not? Why not choose the Bills in this one? So, yeah. Uh, Minnesota, Chicago. And I have the Bears winning this one because the Vikings actually pissed me off last week when they lost by 10 against the Lions. And pretty much, uh, pretty much Christian Ponder lost. Lost pretty much the face, faith of the mostly of the um, Vikings. Vikings fans pretty much they're against him. They're for Matt Castle, and yeah, yeah, it could be a pretty interesting week for Christian Ponder. But hey, if but if he gets benched and he loses his job, then you know, you know, Samantha. Ponder could probably be like, no way, I I want a divorce. Yeah, so so then she divorces him, and then she comes across me, and, you know, then she finds me, and then boom, boom, we connect ultimately together, and then and then pretty much boom marriage, and then I pretty much have. Samantha Ponder on pretty much uh, sitting right next to me, so yeah, so yeah, it'll be a very good week. I hope. Yeah, so I have the Bears and win winning that one. I I doubt that whole dream se sequence will ever happen, but who knows? Um, all right, so New Orleans at Tampa Bay. 
I have the Saints in this one, which is kind of an easy pick, you know, because it's the Buccaneers, and then you have Sean Payton return as head coach, and pretty much the whole team gets revitalized, and the whole culture changes all over again, back to square one, and yeah, I think the Saints will win this one and get to 2-0. and oh. uh, Detroit at Arizona, and this would seem like a potential toilet bowl game, but that's pretty much reserved for the next game that I will discuss. And that one, the Detroit and Arizona game, I have the Lions beating that one because mostly because of Megatron, yeah, and Stafford, I suppose. But but also also Reggie Bush. I mean I mean the trio of those three, those three players, not too bad, not too bad of a trio there. Um, so I have the Lions in that one. Then Jacksonville at Oakland. Now this is. By the way, I have the, I have the Raiders winning this game. This this type of game is basically one of those games where you can just uh, if if you have if you're having turkey, if you're having turkey tomorrow afternoon. I mean, it's not Thanksgiving or anything, but if you're having turkey eat it before this game starts and you will basically fall asleep during the whole game and then you'll realize oh oh it's Sunday night football the Sunday night football is on so you turn to that game so this this game is kind of more of a snore game I would definitely call it a toilet bowl game of the week um, <laughs> I wrote down this is the type of game where you would have sex with your wife game um, yeah or girlfriend, or whatever floats your boat <laughs> kind of game. Um, but yeah, but yeah, the Raiders uh, somehow win this game. So uh, for the CBS late game, which is mostly, which mostly everyone will get to see, is the Mounting Bowl three against the Broncos and the Giants. Now Peyton Manning won. The first two first two matchups in this one when he was still with the Colts, and this one is a little bit different because obviously he's with the Broncos, and and I'm not I'm not too too much sold on the Giants uh, winning this one, so I think the Broncos will uh, come away with a win, and will be probably pretty much unless both of those teams can get to the Super Bowl. This will be probably the last uh, matchup between the Manning brothers, more than likely, unless Peyton becomes a free agent somehow, and then becomes retired, and then he uh, unretires, and then becomes a starter for an NFC team. So I don't know, <laughs> it could be interesting. So I have the Broncos win that one, and the Sunday Night Football game on NBC pits the 49ers against the Seahawks. Now, now the 49ers lost big time against the Seahawks in last year's matchup, and I'm gonna take the 49ers in this one. Why not? Why? What do I have to lose? I mean, I mean, I'm more, I'm more annoyed with the 49ers uh, because pretty much the favorite, and yeah, I'm not too. Not exactly too happy with that, but I'll still take the 49ers in this one. So, so yeah, I'm not too much sold on the on the Seahawks in this one. So, yeah. Uh, and then the Monday night game on ESPN, which is Pittsburgh at Cincinnati. So yeah, uh, this would be a little bit of a store snore game if it was like five years ago, you know. Back when um, Chad Johnson or Ocho Cinco uh, was still part of the Bengals, so I'm gonna actually take the Bengals in this one because I like AJ Green, I like Andy Dalton, I like the Bengals defense, I like how that's shaping up, and 
not too much sold on Pittsburgh because since they lost to the Titans, Titans of all teams. So, yeah. Um, my markets broadcast will be showing um, for the CBS early game. It's uh, San Diego at Philadelphia. And then there's the, for the CBS late game, is uh, Denver at New York Giants. And then you have, for the Fox, Fox game, it's uh, Minnesota at Chicago. So, so the Packers are not playing in this uh, in my market, which is which is which is alright with me, but because I don't live anywhere near Wisconsin, so it's all good. All right, so that's pretty much my um, picks for this week. So um, I have a Monday. Monday off and then Wednesday Wednesday off from work so I'll probably do recaps on recap on either one of those days so should be pretty fun times so uh, uh, thank you for listening to the podcast um, definitely subscribe to my channel and definitely look forward to more episodes of the Tom Retro Chronicle soon later